On the 22nd of November of 2019, Valve introduced the storage unit. It costs 1 euros and 70 cents and with it people could put up to 1000 items into a storage unit, allowing people to have more items than the usual steam limit of 1000. Before that, people with many items or investments had to create multiple accounts to store more than 1000 items at once. So with the new storage unit, in total you could own up to 999,001 item. So traders, shops and especially investors were really thankful for this addition. But these units had some big problems, which most people thought would just release day bugs and would be fixed within the next weeks. For example, the items inside of the unit couldn't be sorted by anything, you couldn't see inside of these units from outside of your CSGO game, and possibly the most annoying thing, you had to insert and retrieve every item individually. Luckily Valve improved a little bit, but it is far from optimal. And whenever a company is not adding the feature the customer requests, it won't take long until another company or just some customer takes the problem into his own hands and fixes it for himself or the public. This had just happened with the CSGO storage unit. So in this video you will learn how to use the storage unit like it probably should be. Before we start with the video, this week's giveaway is a StatTrack Orb Aetherius in field tested condition. To enter this week, we are making it a bit more interesting. To take part, just subscribe to my channel, like the video, try to guess the float of this Orb Medusa in the comments below and lastly send me an offer with your answer for my StatTrack Orb Aetherius. The nearest guest will win, I wish you guys the best of luck and let's get on with the video. Thanks! On the release day of the storage unit, you could only deposit one item at a time. And no, I do not mean you have to click on every item once and then the game will do the rest for you. You could only deposit one item at a time, making this unit quite bad at the shop. I mean, this is like ordering a big truck because you're moving out of your old apartment and the truck driver only delivers one item at a time, making it really useless. But Valve, like they always do, heard what the community wanted, and in this case they also did something about it. So 4 days after the release, they updated the storage unit, allowing for multiple item deposits and withdrawals. So now you could just click on a unit, use the retrieve or deposit item function and move everything at once. But this still left many problems uncovered and people with many items still had to click a long time to move all their items. For example. I have a storage unit of 1000 breakout cases. Please keep in mind that for big traders or big investors, it is not rare to have over 5000 items. I am a fast clicker I would say, but it still took me around 3 minutes and 30 seconds to click all of them. And it would take another 15 minutes for the game to move all the cases individually. So for me this doesn't look like the ideal solution. Over two years have passed since the release and people repeatedly were angry at Valve for not addressing this simple to fix problem. I mean we have a ducking StatTrack swap tool and StatTrack music kits. Why can't we have a working storage unit? Oh no. Do not worry, Neon is here and I will teach you how you can manage your storage units easier using the free to use and open source program CaseMove by the Reddit user Nubiners. So let's jump right into it and see what and how we can make our lives way easier. So this is the program called CaseMove. You have to log in with your Steam account first, but don't worry, you won't get scammed or anything and you cannot get VAG banned. You can read all about the security of this program at the website of the developer below. So I will just log in and we will see what we can do there. I'm not sponsored by the creator or anything, I just found this plugin on Reddit and I think it really needs more attention. So now we are in my Steam account. You can see all of my inventory here, you can see all of my storage units here and you, you can really see how many items there are. 
And if we go to transfer form and for example, go to my breakout cases, you can see I have 1000 breakout cases in this storage unit. So let's just go to another storage unit. Let's go to, to my trash storage unit where I have all my low items. <laughs> and for example, we have, let's go, we have two Hello Mac 10 stickers here. And we're just gonna say, we want to select them and move them out of the storage unit. So you see, here's the storage unit trash and there are 585 items in there. Let's take something else. Let's take the horizon cases and these stickers and just move them out. And you see it works way faster than the Steam client and you can select all items at once and you can even sort them or see all the items at once. So it is way easier than in the game. And we are already done. And if we go to my inventory now, just refresh it. We have more items and let's just look where they are. Yeah, here are all the cases, here are the two stickers. And when we go to the storage unit, you will see the items were extracted from the storage unit really fast and easy. So let's try to get them back. So we go to our inventory and just search for the case. Here with the Ryanson case. We say transfer to, there is the case. Now we have to collect a storage unit. Let's go, let's put them into the trash again, <laughs> where these low cases belong. The sticker. And easy like that, you can move in and move out items from your storage units or your inventory. What is really cool about the extension is also that you can link multiple Steam accounts at once. So for example, if I log out here, you can see that there is space for more than one Steam account. And this is because many big traders or investors have multiple Steam accounts. And with a plugin like this, you can manage them quite all at once and move in and move out cases and everything from storage unit way easier. So I think that sums it up really good. Do not forget to join the giveaway and you can find the link to the download of this helper for free in the description below. I am Neon and I'll see you guys in the next one.